So Brandy Sue says, how to rekindle the spark of a 13 year marriage when he's cheated many times? Well, I mean, the best thing that you can do, first off, what I want to tell you, Brandy Sue, is that uh, it sounds like a really challenging situation. Uh, thank you for you know coming here and trusting me with this. I know that a situation where somebody that you love, that you've been committed to for a long time, you guys have spent so much time together. I mean, this has got to be really, really painful for you. And so thank you for you know trusting in me. Um, one thing that I do want to say is that if you want to keep this together, which it sounds like you do, the best thing that you can do is, is go to counseling and together. That's the best thing that you want to do. If he's committed to making things work with you, then you should make one of the rules for staying together and not getting divorced that he goes and sees some kind of therapist or counselor with you so that you guys can work on these issues together. Because basically what you're learning right now is his patterns, right? His pattern is if something wrong is going on in the relationship, he looks outside of the relationship for whatever needs he's not getting fulfilled inside the relationship. And that is, uh, that means that he's not loyal. That means that his values are garbage. That means that uh, he's got issues and uh, he's not a high value man. He's coming from a low value pattern right now. And so, you know, and as far as what you can do about it, what you can do about it is you can create, help create more passion and intimacy in the relationship by creating, uh, by creating confusion, by creating um, um, uh, variety, right? So you want to create variety. That's the best way to do it in a, like a marriage or something like that is to build a variety of different things where you're doing new, exciting things together. Cause the more you create variety, the more that you, um, uh, break that realm of comfort and you go outside yourself and you do new and different things, the more excitement will be in that relationship that you guys have. And so the best thing that you can do is start creating something like a date night once a week or something like that, where you guys go and do something together. Maybe you go to a new restaurant, maybe you go for a walk in somewhere that you haven't been before. Maybe you just do something different every single time, whatever it is, you want to create variety and uncertainty in your relationship because that's what drives the passion and creates forward momentum for most guys towards you. And so that's, that's the best way to do that. But what you really want to do is make sure that you guys are going and seeing a therapist or a counselor of some sort, um, specifically some kind of marriage counselor and making sure that you're on the same page with this. It's going to be really difficult because he has a clear pattern of cheating and so if anything goes bad in the relationship moving forward, he's going to look outside the relationship and, you know, it's, it's a, it's a disgusting thing for him to do. And, um, I, I totally condemn it, but that's, that's what's happening with him. And it's going to continue happening with him whenever there's challenges in the relationship, unless he changes his values as a man. I hope that that helps you, Brandy Sue.